So the actress Ivana Lynch, responsible for playing Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter series, has come out and say that J.K. Rowling might have opened her mind a little bit. Let's talk about it. When J.K. Rowling started talking about the transgender debate and saying, no, we need to protect women, we need to define what women are, there's no people who menstruate, those are women. Ivana came out and took a very strong stance against J.K. Rowling and her statements. She's now come out and said, quote, I was very naive when I was dragged into that conversation. I didn't even know there were two sides. I had a view of like good and bad. I do have compassion for both sides of the argument. Do also think it's important that J.K. has been amplifying the voices of detransitioners. And I think probably I'm a bit braver now about having uncomfortable conversations. So it's just interesting to see she let the vitriol take control of her. And that's how she responded. But now that she's had some time to think about what JK is saying, and she goes, you know what? Maybe she's not some evil person trying to marginalize trans people. Maybe she is calling to attention an issue that I should be aware of and I should educate myself on. All right. So there's a handful of things to take out of this. Uh, very important messages, I think. I think one of the most important is whenever there's an issue, like a political issue, people on Twitter and various places try to force actors to announce their thoughts on it. This happened with like Woody Allen when people were worried about some allegations. Everybody would just harass actors and say, you need to announce your stance. You need to say if you'll never work with him again. I don't know if that happened with her. I, I'm guessing it did because I'm pretty sure it happened with the other Harry Potter actors. So if if somebody wasn't going to say anything about it because they don't have any interest in it and then to be forced to and to feel like if I don't please these people, I'm going to lose my career, then you're not getting them to really do anything other than lie to make you happy to not get boycotted by you. So anyways, I think that's I think that's a bad approach. I think that's I think everybody should knock that off. If you're on Twitter and you're trying to get actors to uh, make a statement about something that's not necessarily connected to them and they have no interest in it, don't do that. Don't be that person. Another thing that's interesting to see is if in this case she was actually stating her own thoughts and it wasn't that she felt obligated to announce this thing, then this is a good example of people change. There's nothing wrong with making a statement, it being a certain way, and then you realizing that you disagree with that. And I don't think people usually let that kind of thing slide. I think people will look at tweets from uh, 10 years ago and say, you said this once, you're always a bad person. I think we need to, to let people have room for change. And I don't just mean because I personally support JK Rowling. And so it's nice to see this person support her. Either direction it could go. Somebody that has always supported JK could say, I've changed my mind and I'm switching it around now. Same thing with any kind of topic. So it's important to let people change. I guess another good thing that came out of this is it's important to think about topics before you talk about them. Now, I'm not the best example of this because I will talk about some topics that I haven't researched extremely. And I take that risk. I, I'll talk about some things and um, I'll do it on purpose. I'll announce that I don't know too much about it, but that I want to share some thoughts on it. And uh, depending on who you are and how big you are in the limelight, maybe it's best to stop and research and not just go along with your political side. I know that's tough for a lot of people. I don't know if it's just because I am a centrist that it's easier for me to look at both sides because that's what I'm always doing. I'm not really part of a side. I just have my thoughts on things. But every time I hear a new topic... I look into every angle of it. And I don't know if that's a hard thing for people to do if they align with progressives or conservatives and they don't want to look at the other side. But I really think you should. Uh, if, you, if you're if you hearing about a topic and I, I don't know, I, there's probably some topics. No, anything that's thought of as political or moral or has two sides you don't really know the topic unless you look at both sides. So I think it's I think that's worth doing. I think it's worth, if you're about to announce a thought on something, you should try to look at both sides. And I, I didn't used to do that. And sometimes I don't have the time to fully research stuff now. I try to do my best, especially if I'm going to have anything like a firm stance. I try to do that now and I didn't used to. So it's worth thinking about.